I'm Natalia from the Cops Outdoor store in Horsham and I'm here to talk to you about the differences between merino wool and cotton when it comes to your hiking socks. With me today I've got the Bridgedale Lightweight Cool Max Cotton Sock. Uh, these are really lovely, they are a Cool Max and cotton blend along with nylon for a little bit of stretch. Cotton in your socks is no bad thing. It is really nice if you've got sensitive skin, it's not going to cause irritation. It's a little bit nicer than kind of, you know, when you've got kind of prickly wool that feels a bit itchy and scratchy. So cotton nice for that reason. The cool max in this as well means that these are wicking away sweat really effectively. So if you are in a warmer climate or you're getting slightly hot feet, these are going to be a really nice option um, combined with the cotton to help wick away sweat and keep your feet feeling nice and fresh. The other good thing about cotton is it's going to be drying a little bit quicker. If you do find yourself with completely wet through socks, these are going to be quicker to dry, especially if you're out camping and you're like, oh, I need my socks to dry quickly. Hopefully on lunch break, if you've got some sunshine, these will dry a lot quicker than your merino wool, which will kind of hold the water for a little bit longer if they're fully soaked through. Cotton as well is really lightweight and breathable. So especially for these pair of socks, they're going to be really great for the summer months. They're not going to add too much weight to your walking and they'll keep your feet nice and happy. The other sock I've got with me to compare to the lightweight cotton ones, these are the Bridgedale Women's Midweight Hike Performance Sock. Now these are a really great option if you're looking for something with a little bit more warmth to them. Uh, the midweight gives good cushioning as well as kind of good breathability. Uh, merino wool, it comes from sheep. It's a naturally occurring substance. It's going to both be thermal but also it will wick away the sweat so if you're doing a little bit higher activity your feet are getting a little bit hot in there it will wick away the sweat and help regulate your body temperature in there. Merino wool is also antimicrobial this means that there's little particles in there that are trying to prevent um, like bacteria and stuff so these are kind of a little bit more user friendly if you've got to wear them for maybe a couple of days or extended use between washes they'll be staying they won't be getting too gross in between basically they'll be keeping you a little bit fresher they are odor resistant as well so you're not going to be smelling super funky that's another great thing if you've got to be using them for a few days or a little bit longer than other socks then these are a really great option merino wool is going to help you there Another plus side to these merino socks is even if they do get wet, they are going to retain heat a little bit better. So if you do find yourself uh, in a dire situation and a little bit more wet conditions, then these will still keep you a little bit toastier than all merino ones. To kind of finish off on comparing these two socks, the cotton ones ultimately are going to be good for sensitive skin, for those light summery conditions, they're quite lightweight. They're also going to be quick drying if they get fully wet through. Whereas your merino socks, they're going to be good for thermal use. They're going to be a little bit more hygienic if you've got to wear them for multiple days. They're going to be a bit warmer overall and they're going to wick away sweat really effectively. When you come in for a free boot fitting with us, we'll also be keen to help recommend you the right pair of socks. So when you come in, let us know what you're gonna be using them for. We can help make suggestions depending on what your purpose is for them and we can make sure your socks are working in tandem with your boots.